As a youngster, we lived in Texas for a spell. And of that time, many stories I could tell. Many adventures of discovery and fame, but the one I'll tell today brings me nothing but shame. You see, I fancied myself a cowboy of sorts. I rode and trained many a horse. One day, Daddy came home with a pony he'd found, one foot in the grave and not so very sound. Daddy said he thought the pony was about 25, and the old man he got him from said he would ride. My brother and I caught that pony late one afternoon, and we took turns riding that pony of doom. Steps he was taking were so very slow, you'd spur him again just to see if he'd go. His backbone so high, it hurt to sit down, and trying to adjust, I fell to the ground. It was pain so intense, I thought I would die. I tried to stand up and started to cry. I asked my brother to go get mom and dad. This wasn't a joke, I was hurt bad. He dismissed me and led that old pony away. Said something about crying wolf and left me where I lay. The next moments seemed like hours as I drug myself along. I prayed for deliverance and just to make it home. What seemed like eternity was probably 15 minutes, I suppose, but I finally drug myself within sight of the road. I whispered goodbyes, though no one was there. I thought no one would ever come, and my brother didn't care. I thought of the story and what people would say as I thought I would die on this most terrible day. Through tear-filled eyes, I watched my family bury me, but what was written on the tombstone, I just couldn't see. I figured they left the word cowboy out. The 25-year-old nag had left them no doubt. There was quite a gap between my mind and what was real, but through all of this, they would know I was no big deal. Finally, my parents came and I wound up in a hospital bed, all kinds of tests. And finally, they said, a bruised kidney had caused all the pain in my side, but what hurt worst was my busted pride. Today's the first time I've told the story like this. All the times before I gave it a colorful twist, like riding bucking horses out back of the barn and even bucking bulls had made it into my yard. But through all of this, there's a lesson that should be known. If you fall off a 25-year-old nag, be content to die in the woods alone.